गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स लास्ट टाइम वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ अनोन ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट इज ईकोलाय एंड वेन वी स्टडीड अबाउट द आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ इशाशा कोलाय वी केम टू नो दैट द मॉर्फोलॉजी ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिज्म इज इट इज ग्राम निगेटिव कोकोबैसिलाय एंड स्लगिशली मोटाइल सो वेन यू ऑब्जर्व इट अंडर माइक्रोस्कोप इट लुक्स लाइक दिस ग्राम निगेटिव शॉर्ट रॉड्स अरेन सिंगली और कोकोबैसिलाय एंड द ऑर्गेनिज्म इज फ्लैजुलेटेड इट एज इट इज हैविंग पेरीट्राइकस फ्लैजुला सो द ऑर्गेनिज्म इज मोटाइल ओके सो मॉर्फोलॉजिकल फीचर्स ऑफ इकोलाय इट इज ग्राम नेगेटिव कोकोबैसिलाय स्लगिशली मोटाइल If you look at the cultural characteristics of the organism, E. coli produces uh, colonies with green metallic sheen on uh, eosin methylene blue agar. It looks like this, which is shown in the plate. So the colonies are purple, dark, centered with green metallic sheen on the surface of E. M. B. agar. Again, it produces dark purple colonies with metallic sheen. Right. so last time i told you about this now you can look at the pictures if you look at biochemical form, uh, characteristics of the organism the first test is sugar fermentation e coli ferments all sugars whether it is lactose or glucose or mannitol or sucrose and produces both acid and gas which you can see in the first tube if you look at the three tubes the first tube shows acid and gas production the second tube shows only acid production the third tube is negative so e coli ferments all sugars with acid and gas as shown in the picture 1 okay if you look at triple sugar iron agar slant then e coli ferments both the sugars okay <clears throat> look at the fourth tube look at the fourth tube tube number d that is the reaction which is shown by e coli where the slant as well as the lower portion is called as butt and the slanting portion is called as slant you can see that the in the fourth diagram that is d the slant as well as the butt is yellow in color so e coli ferments all sugars with acid e coli also produces gas you can see that at the bottom the agar has lifted up and a gap is created that is occupied that space is occupied by gas so e coli shows acid gas production there is no h2s production if h2s is produced blackening of the medium take place so e coli ferments the first diagram here the first tube here ओके एसिड गैस प्रोडक्शन इन बोथ स्लांट एंड बट ओके नो एच टू एस प्रोडक्शन If you look at the Imbi classification of Escherichia coli, it is indole and methyl red positive, Vogus Proskar and citrate negative. It ferments TSI with acid in slant and but gas and no H two S production. Next, so this is about the Imbi classification: indole positive, MR positive of E coli, V P and citrate. Negative by E. coli. Okay. The next organism that we are going to discuss is Staphylococcus aureus. Okay. Here also you are given a culture. You have to perform morphological uh, test. Uh, cultural. Or uh, you have to identify the organism by morphological characteristics, cultural characteristics, biochemical characteristics, and enzyme test. For morphological characteristics, we perform gram staining and motility. If the organism is Staphylococcus aureus, it is gram-positive cocci arranged in bunches. It is gram-positive cocci arranged in bunches. So, if if you perform staining under the microscope, the stained organism will appear like this bunches, and in every bunch there are cocci. Okay, so this is gram-positive cocci arranged in grape-like bunches. All cocci are non-motile, and hence this organism is also non-motile because it is non-flagellated. the second thing which you do is cultural characteristics for performing cultural characteristics we use selective media so selective media like mannitol salt agar mannitol salt agar is the best used medium as far as identification of staphylococcus aureus is concerned the color of the media is dark pink reddish pink okay the if the organism that you have inoculated on the medium is staphylococcus aureus it will produce golden yellow colonies if you use bayard parker agar staphylococcus aureus will produce black colored colonies and on blood agar you can see beta hemolysis that means on blood agar the colonies will be surrounded by a clear zone where the red blood cells are hemolyzed because blood is present in the agar okay so this is the diagram of mannitol salt agar 
in the second diagram you can see half is yellow half is dark reddish pink so the initially the color of the media is dark reddish pink and golden yellow colonies are produced by staphylococcus aureus you can see in the first diagram yellow colonies of staphylococcus aureus and in the second diagram two organism the half part where yellow color is there it is staphylococcus aureus the half part where there is reddish pink color it is cerasia okay so this is the selective media as far as biochemical testing is concerned we first perform sugar fermentation test okay s aureus staphylococcus aureus ferments all sugars with only acid and no gas you can see in the first tube and second tube there is uh, sorry in the last tube uh, the third and the fourth tube the first and second tube are negative the third and the fourth tube there is only acid production and no gas so equal so staphylococcus aureus ferments all sugars with acid and no gas we call it anaerogenic fermentation anaerogenic fermentation okay now looking at the biochemical characteristics indol organism is indol negative sometimes weakly positive mr and vp positive organism is what methyl red positive bogus proscar positive okay indol negative or Uh, slightly weakly positive then when we perform enzyme test organism is catalase positive as well as urease positive okay and uh, the most important test that is used for identification of staphylococcus aureus is the coagulase test okay here we use uh, plasma of sheep we can use plasma and inoculate it with the organism organism produces coagulase enzyme and hence the plasma gets clotted because of the coagulase enzyme that is called as coagulase test and it is specific for staphylococcus aureus in the lower you can see there are two test tubes number 1 positive tube number 2 negative tube in the negative tube you can see liquid a uh, free, free liquid and in the first positive tube you can see a clump at the bottom that is coagulation of the Uh, uh plasma that is called as coag because of coagulase positive staphylococcus aureus okay this is regarding urease test this is a specific test as far as staphylococcus aureus is concerned if you have taken a urea a urea agar slant then uh, the first tube that is yellowish color is shown by e coli urease negative the second dark pink color is shown by staphylococcus aureus it is urease positive similarly if you have used broth the first tube is showing negative test that is given by e coli and the second is dark pink color that is urease positive by staphylococcus aureus so s aureus is urease positive why do you get a dark pink color see urea agar contains urea okay other ingredients also but the main important uh, uh, ingredient here is urea and the indicator is phenol red staphylococcus aureus produces enzyme urease the enzyme urease breaks the urea and releases ammonia because of release of ammonia uh, the ph of the medium changes to alkaline side and at alkaline ph the color of the phenol red indicator is dark pink okay so you get this color dark pink right so urease test positive and that is all about identification of staphylococcus aureus so if we look at all the other test of staphylococcus aureus number 1 as far as culture uh, morphological characteristics are concerned it is gram positive cocci arranged in bunches and non motile if you look at cultural characteristics it produces golden yellow colonies on mannitol salt agar on beard parker agar black colored colonies on blood agar beta hemolysis matlab colonies are surrounded by uh, hemolysis zone of hemolysis lysis of rbcs if you look at biochemical uh, characteristics and sugar fermentation it ferments all sugars lactose mannitol glucose with only acid and no gas if you look at triple sugar iron agar it will ferment the mm, sugars only with acid and no gas if you look at uh, mv classification it is indol weakly positive or indol negative mr vp positive and citrate a negative okay and it the organism is urease positive strongly urease positive so you can see the pink color of urea agar all because of urease enzyme produced by the organism it also produces enzyme catalase
if you look at the four tubes in the second tube only the but sugars present in the but have been fermented most of the time this reaction is shown by staphylococcus aureus so that is all about the identification of staphylococcus